so here we are at the South Shore of Long Island in the Long Island kitchen. I want to introduce you to Cappuccino Clem. He's got a little, little demonstration for us in real time. Take it we away. We have a new uh, Nespresso machine. Could you stop doing that thing? We have the new uh, Nespresso machine here uh, with many different uh, color coordinated uh, pods for uh, coffee brewing for cappuccino or espresso. Uh, different strengths are reflected and uh, color coordinated. So today we're going to make, uh, let's see, we're going uh, to we're going to take a, uh, let's go with one of these here and this is from India and it's called Indria. Now how strong is that it's, relatively uh, well, speaking? You know, uh, you know, it's funny you should ask, it's full strength. Oh so, my. Yeah, full strength. It's, so, uh, you know, it's, it's got all bars. So it's, one it. it's one o'clock in the afternoon and, and cappuccino clam, or as I like to call him, happy cappy. He's getting ready for the Yankee Mets game. First pitch was two minutes ago. So we have to be quick about this. You can see how quick it is now. Is the rumor true that, that uh, Joe Fish turned you on to this maker? Uh, yeah, Joe Fish, uh, Gotham Seafood, New York, New York. Uh, he's uh, my inspiration and my m mentor when it comes to the cité. I do have a newer machine than Joe, and I always rub it into his face. So the water container is in the back here. You fill it up with some nice filtered water. You pop it right into the slot, and then you're ready to, to brew many, many different cappuccinos. You throw the pot in there like so, and then you take your milk, and you put it up to the first line, which is the cappuccino line. Uh, and the other, one, the other line would be for the latte. But we're going with the cap. You put the cap on, you pop it in, and you go red. Bam, it's red. So now we're frothing the milk. So, so that's working the milk while it's heating the cappy. The cappy's not doing anything yet. That's just basically heating and frothing the milk. Gotcha. Okay, so you get your mug, your mug. This is 2% reduced fat milk. Yes, you, you want to skim milk for better frothing. That's what I hear anyway. Captain Joe told me that. Uh, Joe, Joe Fish. Joe Gumpel, uh, uh, you know, from Gotham Seafood. Uh, the finest and the freshest fish in all of New York. Uh, so, anyway. Alright, so now we got the uh, mug right there. Did Joe get you that shirt also? It kind of looks like the color of salmon. It's, yeah, it's salmon color. All right, uh, all right. I did a quick nine holes this morning. So, okay, so this frothing thing is almost done. I'm going to start the coffee process. Go for you it. You basically have the pot in, you do one of these. You hit the cappuccino, it's got a preset, and you could set the, the actual wow, amount of water that comes out. pouring already. And it comes out piping hot, and it's an espresso when it comes out, but we're going to throw some milk in there and make it a cappuccino and top it off with cinnamon. And uh, Getting the nice effect of your orange striped shirt in the mirror on the cappuccino maker. Oh, it's, I hope it doesn't clash. Now, do you like it light and sweet? How do you mix your cappy? Well, you know, I kind of, I don't, I ran out of teaspoons, so pardon that. I don't throw roughly a teaspoon of sugar in there. That's how I like it. This light went off, which means that the milk is ready. Gotcha. So we're going to take the cover off that and check oh, that look out. look at that. Check that out. Check that out. Okay, now, nice. now this is all done here, so we're just going to do this. We're going to take the milk part, just hold, hold it back with a spoon, and put the milk in there. Alright, put a little froth on the top like so. Alright, we're going to top it with a little cinnamon. Wow. And just like that, huh? Listen, thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Good job, mate.